some more of my clips. Yeah, you got some COVID lunacy. We're loving it. You got some COVID clips. Let's play this one. This is a COVID. This is a Chicago cancels Thanksgiving. On Tuesday, Chicago's Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Alison Anwadi, urged city residents to put off Thanksgiving holiday plans, warning as many as 180,000 residents are currently infectious. As many as 1 in 15 Chicagoans has active COVID-19 right now. And that is why the risk of gathering is significant. Here in New York, Mayor Bill de Blasio has canceled in-person classes for the city's public school system, the largest in the country, even as bars, restaurants, and gyms remain open for limited service. They are pushing this too far. I don't care what country you're in. We just happen to be the country with the guns. But you're pushing it too far. People are going to snap. And and they I believe, but they that. believe this. You can you can tell them anything now, and they oh well, better follow the rules. Well, you know, let's go to the beginning of this of Amy's report. I ended up having to watch Democracy Now. Yeah, I got you. I really felt, I, I, believe me, that if anything's going to give me COVID, it's watching that show. <laughs> Amy push. Here's the here's original. As she starts the show with Amy pu- pushes fear on the COVID. Virus rages out of control. Rages, rages out of control. Coast in the United States with 172,000 infections and near. Okay. She's doing my uh, my pet peeve. To say testing positive and cases, all right, you got that. But to say people are infectious, that is that is just not true. The test does not show your infectivity. She has no idea what she's talking about. But yet, let's just call these people infected. They're, they're diseased. A thousand infections and nearly 2,000 deaths reported on Wednesday alone. U.S. hospitalizations continue to shatter records. Now at over 73,000 COVID-19 patients. Hold on. What's, what, what, what records have been shattered? Some records. Some now records have been shattered. 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 Not broken. Shattered. Patients, and the average daily death toll rising in 33 states. Columbia University epidemiologists estimate more than 3 million people across the U.S. are currently contagious with coronavirus, nearly 1% of the population. I mean, isn't this just the signal we've heard it now in two reports this 33 states isn't that exactly how it started the last time 33 33 it was 33 everywhere i mean come on (laughs) Uh, let's play the last clip of her this is her talking about biden and a nurse complaining Uh, Oh, yeah, got it. In the Midwest, over 900 employees of the Mayo Clinic hospital system have contracted COVID-19 in just the last two weeks. The infections led to a labor shortage at the Mayo Clinic campus in Rochester, Minnesota, where intensive care unit beds are filled to capacity and over a thousand healthcare workers are off the job due to COVID-19 exposure or diagnosis. Stat News reports hospitals in at least 25 states are critically short of nurses, doctors, and other staff. In a conference call with President-elect Joe Biden Wednesday, Minnesota Nurses Association President Mary Turner described the toll the outbreak is having on frontline health care workers. The physical impacts of this virus have been devastating. I myself have held the hand of dying patients who are crying out for their family that they can't see. I've taken care of co-workers as they fight for their lives on a ventilator. As the head of the Minnesota Nurses Association broke down, President-elect Biden also wiped away a tear, promising personal protective equipment and paying sick leave for frontline workers. He said the Trump administration's refusal to acknowledge the outcome of the election was preventing his transition team from accessing critical data about the U.S. outbreak and could slow the distribution 
distribution of vaccines in 2001? There's a whole lot of things that are just we just don't have available to us, which unless it's made available soon, we're going to be behind by weeks or months being able to put together the whole initiative. <laughs> the whole, the whole load. load. <laughs> Whenever he says the word whole, all I can think is load. Yeah. 